Sing praise to our God, all you who fear God, both small and great. For now salvation and strength have come in the power of his Christ. Alleluia. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace and peace of God our Father and the risen Lord Jesus be with you all. As we gather to celebrate this Easter liturgy, let us be ever mindful of God's presence in Christ among us right now and the forgiveness that Jesus has won for us by his death and resurrection. Lord Jesus, you raise us to new life. Lord Jesus, you are the good shepherd leading us into everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O God, who restore us to eternal life in the resurrection of Christ, grant your people constancy in faith and hope that we may never doubt the promises of which we have learned from you. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. In those days, some Jews from Antioch and Iconium arrived and won over the crowds. They stoned Paul and dragged him out of the city, supposing that he was dead. But when the disciples gathered around him, he got up and entered the city. On the following day, he left with Barnabas for Derbe. After they had proclaimed the good news to that city and made a considerable number of disciples, they returned to Lystra and to Iconium and to Antioch. They strengthened the spirits of the disciples and exhorted them to persevere in the faith, saying, It is necessary for us to undergo many hardships. Prayer and fasting commended them to the Lord, in whom they had put their faith. Then they traveled through Pisidia and reached Pamphylia. After proclaiming the word at Perga, they went down to Italia. From there they sailed to Antioch, where they had been commended to the grace of God for the work they had now accomplished. And when they arrived, they called the church together and pre reported what God had done with them and how he had opened the door of faith to the Gentiles. Then they spent no little time with the disciples. The word of the Lord. Your friends make known, O Lord, the glorious splendor of your kingdom. Your friends make known, O Lord, the glorious splendor of your kingdom. Let all your works give you thanks, O Lord, and let your faithful ones bless you. Let them discourse of the glory of your kingdom and speak of your might. Your friends make known, O Lord, the glorious splendor of your kingdom, making known to men your might and the glorious splendor of your kingdom. Your kingdom is a kingdom for all ages, and your dominion endures through all generations. Your friends make known, O Lord, the glorious splendor of your kingdom. May my mouth speak the praise of the Lord, and may all flesh bless his holy name forever and ever. Your friends, O Lord, glorious splendor of your kingdom.
Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said to his disciples, Peace I leave with you, my peace I give to you. Not as the world gives do I give it to you. Do not let your hearts be troubled or afraid. You heard me tell you, I am going away and I will come back to you. If you loved me, you would rejoice that I am going to the Father, for the Father is greater than I. And now I have told you this before it happens, so that when it happens you may believe. I will no longer speak much with you for the ruler of I do just as the Father has commanded me. The Gospel of the Lord. The Acts of the Apostles records how Paul was stoned and left for dead. And yet, the disciples are all there with him. And all of a sudden, he pops up. And the very next day, he goes out preaching again the message of Jesus. Nothing seems to stop him. St. Paul had an inner, an inner conviction that was so strong and a joy and a peace about him that it seemed to have overcome all the situations that he encountered in his life. And that's what makes Paul so credible, that he suffered such abuse at the hands of others, and yet he continued to preach through all of these hardships. So people believe him because he's walked the walk. And then Jesus speaks to us in the Gospel reading today about a certain kind of a peace that will pervade a, a true disciple, a peace and a joy, an inner peace and joy that surmounts all the hardships. What a wonderful gift that peace of, of Jesus is, the peace that Jesus wishes us to have. Jesus imparts it to the disciples and he imparts it to us in and through the Holy Spirit. Our faith ought to give us a certain peace and a certain comfort, a certain joy, that no matter what happens to us, God loves us, God has forgiven us, and God has a place for us in eternity. That's the kind of peace and joy that comes from a strong faith. And so we might ask ourselves today, who in your life might be a witness to the kind of peace and joy that Jesus speaks of in today's gospel. Who is, a, is, a, is a, a strong witness to the kind of peace and joy that Paul had as he preached the gospel message that nothing seemed to overcome in his life? And how might we be a stronger witness to the faith that we have in our life with joy and peace that radiates to others. And so we pray. That the church may be consoled in times of persecution, we pray that God's people may be blessed with wise and prayerful elders, we pray. That the gospel may open the door to faith for all people, we pray. That the sick may be consoled by the risen one's presence, we pray. That we may entrust ourselves to Christ with prayer and thanksgiving, we pray. For your intentions and all those listed in our parish books of prayer, we pray. That those who have died may find fellowship among all who have, pro among all who have proclaimed the good news, we pray.
O oh Mary, you always shine on our path as a sign of salvation and of hope. We entrust ourselves to you, health of the sick, who at the cross took part in Jesus' pain, keeping your faith firm. You know what we need, and we are sure you will provide so that as in Cana of Galilee, we may return to joy and to feasting after this time of trial. Help us, Mother of Divine Love, to conform to the will of the Father, and to do as we are told by Jesus, who has taken upon himself our sufferings and carried our sorrows to lead us through the cross to the joy of the resurrection. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your good goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Father Almighty. <laughs> Receive, O Lord, we pray, these offerings of your exultant Church. And as you have given her cause for such great gladness, grant also that the gifts we bring may bear fruit in perpetual happiness. Through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation at all times. Christ, our Passover, has been sacrificed. With the old order destroyed, the universe cast down is renewed, and integrity of life is restored to us in Christ. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. <clears throat> Holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down upon them your spirit like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, he said the blessing, 
broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. Poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come. We offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Edward, our Bishop, Howard, our Bishop Emeritus, the clergy, religious, and all who minister in the name of the Church. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. 
Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. If we have died with Christ, we believe that we shall also live with Christ. Hallelujah. Let us pray. Look with kindness upon your people, O Lord, and grant, we pray, that those you were pleased to renew by eternal mysteries may attain in their flesh the incorruptible glory of the resurrection through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go forth in peace and in joy, glorifying the Lord by your life. Have a good day.